Terry Milfsky, if I may ask you first, sir, Dr. Jay Shankar in the United States categorically said if Canada has something specific, something relevant, let India know. India is open to looking at it. Canada, it seems, sir, has given no evidence to India to back Justin Trudeau's claims of credible allegations of a potential link. Yes, and I know that's the Indian story. However, I'm not sure whether I believe it. Somebody isn't telling the truth here. And it may be the, the Canadians. Uh, the, because the Canadians have been saying for some days now that, well, wait a minute. We went to, uh, at the official level, we went to the Indians and told them, look, this is what we got. It suggests that one of your guys might have been involved in this murder. Work with us to resolve this case. Uh, and they say, the Canadians say, that at no stage did those Indian officials that they were dealing with before the G20, before the Trudeau-Modi meeting, that none of the officials denied the allegations that were uh, involved here. Now, uh, now the Indians have been saying for the past couple of days, have they not, that oh, this isn't true, that we never re have received any specifics. Well, somebody's not telling the truth. Uh, to me, it seems inconceivable uh, that uh, Trudeau and Modi could have had a meeting uh, as they did, a short and frosty meeting, to be sure, uh, at the G20 uh, in New Delhi, uh, and that uh, Trudeau uh, says that he brought this matter up uh, to Mr. Modi in no uncertain terms, in his words, and that Modi sat there like a, a potted plant and asked no questions. I mean, that's inconceivable. It's also inconceivable, it seems to me, that Mr. Modi would have rejected the Canadian allegations if he did not know what they were. So we can be pretty sure, I think, that Mr. Modi does know what they were. He would not be satisfied if he had, if he had been rebuffed. He wouldn't have accepted that. Well, you've got to tell me what your evidence is. Yes. I mean, of course he would have asked that. So we're in a situation where this is a tit for tat denials. You didn't tell us, oh, yes, we did. Well, it doesn't really help the rest of us. It doesn't change the fact that Indians rightly believe it's the, the obligation is on Trudeau to reveal his cards, show the evidence. And for Canadians too, both Canadians and uh, 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 Indians are being, I believe, shortchanged by their politicians, not telling us what's going on here. Oh, we want to know what the evidence is. Absolutely. Indians we deserve to Canadians. know. We deserve to know. And Yashavardhan Azad, India insists no evidence shared so far. So even if there are intelligence inputs, intelligence inputs that were shared between Five Eyes partners, is that sufficient for a prime minister of a country like Canada to stand up in parliament and directly blame India? Or has Justin Trudeau's desperate gamble backfired? He needs to put that evidence out in public domain. See, there are two or three things which are very important to be pointed out here, Gaurav. First is that if you have an investigation of a murder, so as a police officer, the first thing I would say is that there should be credible evidence as far as the murder is concerned and the arrests of those two masked men that we are talking about. It's been three and a half months now. There was a getaway car. There is somebody who, who was ready to take them away. And there were these two masked men. There have been no arrests so far. There have been no statement recorded of anybody. So obviously what uh, the prime minister is referring to is some kind of intelligence inputs which he has got sharing of intelligence also from somebody now if that in itself might be an allegation but it has to be established by some facts so even if the meeting took place in g20 between the prime minister and and the canadian prime minister obviously if there was a denial from this side so in the absence of any credible evidence you're confronted with what do you reply so I, I think the foreign minister said it very rightly that we are still waiting for any solid evidence which we can furnish a final reply. So I think this is a very serious allegation which has been made. Yes. And let me add another thing. When the foreign minister was speaking to the press, uh, she said that we are searching for the truth. But while searching for the truth before only the diplomats had been expelled, that means you had come to a conclusion. So I think this is a kind of a show which is very difficult to, to resolve, except for the fact that you have not given evidence. We are still waiting for it. And Terry Milsky, it just seems to indicate that Justin Trudeau has jumped the gun. No arrests, no suspects, no charge sheet, no evidence. 
and action has been taken and Indian diplomat has been thrown out, this would show that whatever action is taking place in Canada, it's prejudiced. Was Justin Trudeau scared to cede ground to Jagmeet Singh and he adopted a hard line and perhaps this move has backfired? Sir, has this embarrassed not just Justin Trudeau but also Canada? Well, there genuinely is a problem that Canada has to face up to. Of course, it's embarrassing. We have a situation where we have not found the shooters. Oh, never mind who paid them. I mean, uh, we're announcing the results of the investigation when we don't have suspects, at least at that level, at the operational level. I mean, the guys, this is a contract hit we're talking about. Uh, th th those, those five or six guys didn't decide that they, they had a beef uh, with Mr. Niger. Let's do it on our own behalf. No, they were working for somebody. Uh, and the original theory, as you recall, was that it was a gangland hit of some kind, revenge perhaps by Rabudaman Malik's camp. He was assassinated a year ago. So uh, well, I won't get into that now, but my point is that, yes, Canada certainly has uh, some weaknesses here, and that is certainly one of them, that they haven't even found the shooters. In the Malik case, for example, it, was, it took no more than about 10 days to identify the shooters. They still haven't got who paid them either. But uh, this all has to be unraveled. This all has to be laid out in public to persuade publics in India and in Canada. This is what this is about. Can, uh, either Trudeau is blowing smoke or he's not. Either he has got evidence that is going to persuade the public that India did countenance this, or alternatively that maybe it was somebody who was acting unofficially. We've seen, for example, uh, official statements from the Indian side today uh, saying, I've seen one saying, well, uh, there was absolutely no truth at all that any Indian intelligence agency was involved. Okay, well, what about all of the other agencies? It doesn't exclude the others. It just says intelligence agencies. And then what about the statement of Mr. Jay Shankar that this is not India's policy? Well, lots of things happen that aren't India's policy. You, presumably, India might say, if we, if we find that there is something to this, India might very well say, well, but it was against our policy. It was unofficial. We didn't know this guy. He wasn't acting for us. Never liked him anyway. Whatever. Fair enough, well, but you all can, of that... You can see we could go that way.